Hi, this is Christian Brindley, the character artist at Ludophobia Studios, and today I will be teaching you how to get your poly paint information from ZBrush to your low poly using X Normal as the medium. You're going to need three things for this. You're going to need your low poly mesh with a UV unwrap on it inside Max, and you know, it could be any of this tutorial, we just got a basic one, as you can see. Um, and you're also going to need your ZBrush high poly sculpt. Let's see, I've got one here. It's a basic poly paint texture on it. It's a ZBrush. Um, and you're also going to need X normals for the program. So, first, you want to start off by dropping it to the lower subdivision level on the geometry tab. And then we want to go down to UV map and click delete UVs okay so that's deleted all the UVs okay now we want to go down to GUWV tiles and click that button then go back up to the geometry tab set it back up to max subdivision level and then click export okay I'm going to put this on desktop and save this as high poly and then we're going to click save and now at the bar at the top it's the export progress okay that's done okay now we want to go down to, to the texture map and click new from poly paint okay now you can see it's right there there it is now I want to get clone texture you can see it's worked because it's on the left go up to the texture tab at the top click flip V and then go to export okay we're just going to save this out as coat and make sure it's a PSD okay that's done okay we're done with inside ZBrush we don't need ZBrush anymore so let's go back to our 3 Studio Max low poly. Okay, let's select that and export file, export, and then export selected. Okay, I'm going to save this on desktop as well, and we're going to call this low poly. But first, we're going to set it to OBJ. click save okay for the settings we're going to go down to the present and set it to zbrush and then click export wait for that and then click done okay let's open up x normals okay we've got x normals here as you can see we want to go to the high poly high definition and then in the file we want to right click and click add mesh and then here we want to put a high, high poly mesh a high poly sculpt that we exported earlier okay we want to go that high poly Okay, and it'll pop up there. there we go. Okay, and then we want to go base, no, base texture base. Click right click, and then add base texture base, and then go to coat our PSC that we exported out. Okay, I'm going to set this to average normals because that's just a common habit I have. Okay, let's go to low definition mesh, and that's located underneath. And right click again and click add mesh, and then go low poly. Scroll a bit, set it to average normals. Okay, now that's done. Okay, bacon options. Okay, at the top, we're going to save this out. I'm going to call it poly paint, and we're going to have it as a TGA. Okay, all these settings I'm keeping. I'm going to tick normal map, and we're going to tick base texture to bake. I can't be bothered to play with all these settings. And we'll go generate map. And we'll just sit here and wait for X normals to generate the maps. As you can see, there's our normal map. It's got a lot of artifact in, and it's very terribly baked because I haven't done any settings. Okay, there's our base texture to bake. As you can see, it's very low quality, and it doesn't have any. It doesn't have any cavity map, and it doesn't have an AO map, which you would do later in a progress. So it's very flat and bland. Um, here, at this, and okay, so that's X normal's done. Let's close that. And let's go back into 3D Studio Max. We've got a low poly here. And let's see what that looks like on the model. Okay, let's add it as a diffuse. I'm not going to, I, can't, I haven't got any real time shaders installed, so I'm just going to do this normal. Okay, let's go down, find it. And there it is, like select it. Okay, let's put it, put it visible, drop it on the model. And there it is, as you can see. It's uh, on the model, and that's the ZBrush information, as I said earlier. Okay, let's put the normal map on that quickly just to get a quick example of the two working together. Okay, and let's render this out. Okay. There we go, 
as you can see the normal map working with the thingy and as you can see it has no AO or cavities so the quality is not great but that is how you bake it out and thank you for watching